So even adenine dinucleotide, this is also the electron carrier, and that is involved in the different oxidation reduction reactions in the different metabolic pathways. So I divided this clavin adenine dinucleotide into three parts. That first you will learn about what is clavin, and what is adenine, and then what does this dinucleotide mean, and what are nucleotides. Now, first of all, we look to the clavin. What are basically the clavin part in the clavin adenine dinucleotide? Clavin is basically is the part of the riboclavin. So, clavin, this is the structure of the clavin, which is composed of clavin is basically the isoelastin ring. This is the isoelastin ring that makes up the clavin. So, clavin together with the Ribitol group means the sugar group is together is known as riboflavin. So riboflavin is basically the vitamin B2. Okay, vitamin B2 is also known as riboflavin that is composed of flavin and together with the ribitol that is the sugar group. Okay, sugar with ribitol. So flavin composed of the isoeloxazine ring. Now what is adenine? Adenine is one of the nitrogenous base. This is the structure of the adenine. Adenine is also known as six amino purine because it is having the amino group at the sixth position and at the ninth position there uh, when it is involved in the formation of the nucleotide the ribose group will be the sugar group will be attached at the ninth, in ninth nitrogen so there adenine is basically the nitrogenous base there are four um, nitrogenous bases involved in the formation of the dna present in the human body so among them the adenine and guanine are known as purine and it is having the double ring. Okay, it has the double ring structure. So these are the purines. Adenine, guanine, and the cytosine and uracil are the pyrimidines. It is having the single ring structure. So adenine and guanine, they are the purines. So that's why adenine is also the purine. It's the sixth amino purine. And this adenine is involved in the synthesis of the FAD. So in the FAD structure, what does the nucleotide mean? Nucleotides is basically are involved uh, has different functions. So nucleotide is composed of three things. The structure is composed of base. It is always having the nitrogenous base. As we studied, this nitrogenous base can be four or five types. In case of RNA, it will be the uracil. But this nitrogenous base can be adenine, guanine, cytosine, uh, and thymine. Uh, in case of RNA, it will be the uracil. But it depends on the uh, needs and on the functions. Okay, so nit it, the nucleotide is the combination of three things. It's composed of nitrogenous base, sugar, and phosphate. So what would be the flavin adenine dinucleotide? So flavin adenine dinucleotide, you see that F means flavin, and the flavin uh, is the uh, together with the uh, ribitol forms the riboflavin, which is vitamin B2, and the adenine is one of the nitrogenous base, which is the six amino purine. And dinucleotide means that it's the combination of Two nucleotides. So how these nucleotides are formed? First, we will study about one nucleotide, and then we will study about the second nucleotide, and then how these two nucleotides are bound together. So this is the uh, flavin group, isoeloxazin ring structure, together with the ribitol. So as we studied that, the nucleotide is the combination of three things. The nucleotide is composed of base, sugar, and phosphate. So this is for the Flavin, as we studied that flavin, uh, um, flavin is the part of the rib uh, uh, riboflavin, vitamin B2. So flavin, this is this flavin. So in this case, in this, this is the structure of the nucleotide, right? This is one nucleotide. But in this nucleotide, as the nucleotide will be composed of three things, base, sugar, and phosphate. But in this nucleotide, the base is used is the flavin. Okay, in this nucleotide, the flavin, uh, the base is the flavin. So flavin, matlab base, together with, and the sugar in this case is the ribitol group. So base, together with the sugar, and together with the phosphate, it makes up the one nucleotide. So as the base is used here is the flavin, so this mono, so this nucleotide will be named as flavin mononucleotide or FMN. 
okay flavin mononucleotide mono means one because this is the structure of the one nucleotide and in this case the base used is the flavin so that's why it will be known as flavin mononucleotide as fmn is also used in the oxidation reduction reactions and also used for the synthesis of the structure of the fad so this is the structure of the one nucleotide right this is the flavin mononucleotide as uh, it's composed of base sugar and phosphorus this is one nucleotide mononucleotide and in this case the base uses the flavin now let's see the other nucleotide this is the structure of the other nucleotide it is composed of the base sugar and phosphate but in this nucleotide the base used is the adenine okay in this in this nucleotide the base will be the adenine so this is the other nucleotide one nucleotide and two nucleotide and now these two nucleotide will be linked together will form a bond to this phosphate bond these phosphate bond okay these phosphate groups will form a bond will link together and will form a complete whole structure that will be containing the two nucleotides this nucleotide and this nucleotide these two nucleotides will be linked together to this phosphate group these two phosphate groups will form a bond and these two nucleotides will be linked so this is how this is one nucleotide this is other nucleotide structure of the other nucleotide and these two nucleotides are linked through these two phosphate groups right So this one uh, 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 nucleotide and this is the other nucleotide. So that's why it is known as di nucleotide. So the difference in these two nucleotides is for the only the bases. In this nucleotide, the base is the flavin, and in this nucleotide, the base is the adenine. So, but there is the, also the difference of the sugar because in this case the ribosome group is attached, and in this case there is the ribose group is attached. The sugar is ribose, and in this case the sugar is the ribosome group. so that's why this whole structure will be known as flavin adenine dinucleotide and that's why it is known as fad right okay so this is flavin because of the base flavin adenine and dinucleotide because these are the two nucleotide and this fad is an electron carrier it is involved in the um in oxidation reduction reactions at different metabolic pathways in the different metabolic processes 